Good afternoon and welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. We've been coming to you live from the Singapore FinTech Festival. Joining me for this segment, we have Sean Douglas, who's the CEO of Amber Data, and we are going to focus on monitoring blockchain data. Thank you so much for joining us here today Thank at you, the Jill. FinTech Fest. Amazing crowd here. Yeah, pleasure lots to be here. Lots of people, lots of innovation. Let's talk about that monitoring blockchain data because it seems as if there's so much out there and how do we effectively standardize it and control it? Yeah, absolutely. So what we do is we provide insight into the state and health of blockchain, enabling transparency and trust. So people can really trust and see what's happening on blockchain, whether it be to token trading, whether that be the state and health of the overall, uh, what's happening on Ethereum, what's happening on Stellar, what's happening on Aeon. We allow people to really understand what's going on and then run their businesses on top of blockchain. Right, because I would imagine when um, the technology was initially introduced, you kind of had this open source um, mentality. Right. Um, it's, it's decentralized, it's available to, to everybody, so of course security is going to be an issue. Are you still finding that or have people learned to acclimate to it? No, it's absolutely true and I think that it's a global, open, decentralized platform, mm -hmm. but you still need to trust it, right? You can delegate trust to a consensus protocol, but you still need to be able to know that the transaction that you put on chain happened and it happened the way that you think that it happened and that the smart contracts that you're running and delegating trust to are working as expected. Right. And from a security perspective, we've also done security audits on 360,000 smart contracts and been able to score those to really enable further trust so people know that I'm using a stable coin. Is this thing safe mm -hmm. to use? Um, so, so a couple yeah. of questions yeah, here. Is, is the blockchain technology only for the capital markets? And if not, how else can it be used? Yeah, absolutely. So I think today we're seeing a lot of financial activity, the securitization of, of you know, token, you know, you know, token trading, mm -hmm. the securitization of physical and digital assets, which are enabling, enabling trade and, and transaction and transfer of value. But I think that the larger opportunity around blockchain is really, blockchain is a decentralized global database. Mm -hmm. And when you get into platforms like Ethereum or Aeon or or Stellar, they have an application server that sits on top of that that allows you to run global applications. It's really Internet 3.0. So it, we're basically creating, Internet 1.0 was pretty decentralized. Mm -hmm. um, 2.0 kind of consolidated back into the Facebooks, the Amazons, the Googles of the world where they had, we were data aggregators. D Internet 3.0 again is opening that back up into a decentralized global network that anybody can frictionlessly uh, deploy smart contracts, monetize their transactions on a per transaction level. Um, it's it's massively transformational. I would say bigger than Internet 1.2 or 2.0. So it, it could only be, again, it, um, implementing it outside of capital markets, any supply chain, absolutely, any distribution yes. network, yes. so you know where it gets from A to B. I would right. imagine there's accountability, it's more efficient, more cost effective. Yeah. Absolutely. In fact, if you look at enterprise blockchain, so um, the Singapore Monetary Authority has a project you've been over here, mm -hmm. and they're looking at trade finance, they're looking at interbank trading protocols. If you look at uh, IBM, they currently have mm -hmm. like 500 uh, enterprise blockchain projects. If you look at SAP, I think they've got 80 um, current uh, blockchain projects. If you look at Oracle, they're now in the blockchain space. Microsoft is now, it's going really mainstream, and they're the, I think some of the killer use cases for blockchain is around supply chain management, right. where you have many actors that need to have transparency into a shared network and distribution system. And if you really think about blockchain, this is a continuum that's been happening for many years. Companies like Accenture have been doing digital transformation, right, and di business process automation. Blockchain is just taking that intelligence, putting that onto a smart contract, and letting that run in a global shared infrastructure that anybody that participates in that network can see. So it's, yeah. It's going to be amazing to see what yeah, it looks like in absolutely. five years from now absolutely. when it's going from concept to actual implementation. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you so yeah, much for joining us. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure being here. And thank you for joining me throughout thank the day. We've been coming to you live from the Singapore FinTech Festival. I'm Jill Melandrino, Global Market Reporter at NASDAQ.